This is India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi. He won power in 2014 on a promise of growth and jobs. And jobs are a big deal in India right now, in this vast country of well over a billion people. Every year, an estimated 6 to 8 million young people come on to the job market, competing for only a few million jobs. So has Mr. Modi delivered on jobs? Well, let's go back and see what he promised. In a campaign speech ahead of the last election, it was widely reported that he made an ambitious pledge that his government would create 10 million jobs a year during his time in office. This claim was repeated not just in the Indian media, but around the world. The only issue is, and we checked back on the campaign speech in question, he never actually made that promise. Mr. Modi's words were misquoted by a single news agency and the words were repeated by the others. But Mr. Modi promised jobs and India needs millions more of them for its rapidly expanding workforce. As national elections approach, jobs and how to measure employment is fast becoming a huge issue. Rahul Gandhi, leader of the Opposition Congress Party in India, recently made his own remarkable claim. The single biggest challenge, and I'll give it to you in numbers, 30,000 youngsters come into the job market every single day. Today, 450 of them are getting a job. I'm not even talking about the unemployed. Mr. Modi has responded to this criticism by saying that the current methods of measuring job creation don't reflect the true picture. The government is now looking at new ways of collecting data. So what's really going on? This is how many people in India want to work. You can see it's growing every year. But there's no reliable data we could find to show how many jobs have been created overall in the Indian economy while Modi's been in power. Basically, the problem is not that we cannot collect the data. Uh, the problem is that there's been a delay in bringing the data out. We've had no employment, unemployment data, no household survey since 2011-12, which is what the NSSO used to conduct. India's economy is also separated into the formal and informal sector. The informal sector is a part of the economy that's hard to capture in the official statistics. It's much larger than the formal sector, but no one knows exactly how many people work in it. Estimates suggest it's over 80% of the economy. Therefore, it's difficult to say how many jobs have actually been created during Mr. Modi's period of office. One thing is certain though, while no one can prove for sure that his government hasn't created more jobs than the previous government, Mr. Modi definitely can't say he has. And the election next year could simply come down to whether or not Indians feel that he has delivered.